You know, this can be a real challenge in some mm -hmm. marriages because some guys that are just workaholics, and I'm thinking of a particular friend that I have that just, he just loves work. And uh, sometimes, I know he loves his kids, but I just know that sometimes the greatest thing in the world for him is to be doing his work activities and he's obsessed with his email and he's on his phone. Well, and, and to that. be honest, what, one of the things that happens is you kind of lean into the things you feel good about and that you're successful in. And if you already have a little kind of guilt paying about not being right. a good enough dad, it's hard to choose that because you already have the baggage that comes with feeling like a little bit like a failure. Right. And when your spouse begins to kind of put their thumb in your back and that kind makes of force it you it, it's to a be a good dad. Thing. Absolutely. I mean, you genuinely want to do that, but when you don't feel good about it, it's hard to choose it. But here is a little tip. When you have somebody who's kind of hard driving um, and they, they have interests, if you can grab on to some structured activities for them right. to do with the kids, get them on the calendar. So, you know, um, Friday night is our game night and movie night or whatever it is or you know we're gonna go to every baseball game you know whatever it is that you can get on the calendar that is a fun involving activity they can share with the kids and and calendar it so that it becomes urgent and it's planned. Well and a guy that's hard driving and work he's yeah. gonna live off that that's that calendar that, that schedule Blackberry. exactly <laughs> so once it's in there there's a a chance that uh, he's going to go, oh, no, I'm going to protect that time. Because it's so that. often yeah. the case that we might think something is very important, but it just doesn't make it to the urgent part of our day. Yeah, now I'll tell you another thing that has worked for one couple in particular I'm thinking of, and that is that uh, he's got to be home at 6 o'clock every night. And They uh, made a deal. They made a deal, and he sticks with it, and he just does that. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things for a workaholic driving guy, it's very easy to extend that work day well into the evening. Uh, but if you kind of have that arrangement mm -hmm. and you know, hey, we're going to have dinner together, I've got to get home at 6, or there's a major consequence to pay, he's going to abide by it. So a few practical things that might help you with the workaholic dad.